A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul reached also Derby and Lystra, where there was a disciple named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. The brothers in Lystra and Iconium spoke highly of him. Paul wanted him to come along with him. On account of the Jews in that region, Paul had him circumcised, for he all knew that his father was a Greek. They traveled from city to city. They handed him on to the people for observance the decisions reached by the apostles and presbyters in Jerusalem. Day after day, the churches grew stronger in faith and increased in number. They traveled through Pygian and Galatian territories because they had been prevented by the Holy Spirit from preaching the message in the providence of Asia. When they came to Mysia, they tried to go on into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them, so they crossed through Mysia and came down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision. A Macedonian stood before him and implored him with these words, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he seen the vision, he sought passage to Macedonia at once, concluding that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. Verbum Domini. Hallelujah! Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Know the Lord is God. He made us. We are his. His people, the flock he tends. The Lord is good. His kindness endures forever. His faithfulness to all generations. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. If then you are raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia. 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 Dominus Rubiscum Lexio Sancte Evangelii Segundum Johannum. Jesus said to his disciples, if the world hates you, realize it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world would love its own, but because you do not belong to the world, I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you. No slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they'll also keep yours. Now do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. Verbum Domini. Well, my brothers and sisters in Christ, it's Saturday. We honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. It's more apropos today, because today is the feast of Our Lady of Fatima. The Blessed Mother appeared for the first time to three Portugal shepherd children on this date, 1917. Europe was in the grip of the First World War, which would claim an astounding 20 million lives. Only eight days before the apparition, Pope Benedict XV had begged the Blessed Mother to intercede for the war's end. During her appearance, Mary predicted the devastation of World War II and the grave threat posed by Communist Russia. Her message to the children in the world, reform your lives and do penance for your sins. Pray the rosary every day. Do you pray the rosary every day? Do you pray the rosary every day? It's a simple question, yes or no. This is my mother, Mary Page. And 5.3 million people follow this page. And then, then millions, probably, altogether 10 million people on the, on the totality, the cumulative number of people Right on the, all the pages, the groups uh, that that this mass, right? These all pray the rosary. You all pray the rosary. I, I hope so. The Blessed Mother says so. Right. Every time the Blessed Mother appears, pray the rosary. Pray the rosary. Right. You go to mass every day. You go to mass every day. I celebrate mass for you every single day. Maybe you can't receive communion, spiritual communion, not physical communion. But again, the goal of every Catholic should be that at some point in their lives, 
For the rest of their lives, would be daily communicants, daily mass comers. You go to mass every day. Do we desire to come to repentance every day, come to conversion every day? And do penance for our sins and the sins of the world, right? Reparation. I just got done talking about this on my father in Barada Live. Spiritual, corporal works of mercy and reparation for all of our sins and all the sins against the Blessed Mother and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right? This is what the Blessed Mother tells us. The Blessed Mother is the greatest prophet in the history of the church. Greatest prophet, 2,000 year history of the church, the greatest prophet in the history of the church has been the Blessed Mother. Fatima, Lourdes, Guadalupe, right? So many appearances. Millions and millions of people brought into the church through the Blessed Mother. Do as she tells you, because what she tells you to do is do as he tells you. Follow Jesus. We should be a slave to our faith, a slave to Jesus. A slave to all that Jesus taught. Will the world hate us? Yes. Do we care? We shouldn't. We should only care about pleasing Jesus, being a slave to Jesus. Paul was. Look at all the places that Paul traveled, where he went, everywhere. Because he was a slave to Jesus. Here is somebody who once persecuted Jesus. I persecuted Jesus. Then Jesus said, Paul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, sir? I'm Christ. I'm God. The Messiah. Paul stopped persecuting him and started becoming a slave to Jesus. We're called to be slaves to Jesus, slave to Jesus' will for us. We need to ask our Lord each day, what is your will for us? Now, regardless of our specific will for, for us, his specific will for us, we're called to do his will, the least of his Christ's brethren, the poor, the sick, the thirsty, the naked, the homeless, the hungry, the imprisoned, right? Right? Blessed Mother was a slave to Jesus. Even experiencing the seven sorrows, right? That's what we're called to do. We're called to be a slave to Jesus. To be Jesus, see Jesus, and all those who Jesus entrusts to our care each day. That's what our faith is all about, my brothers and sisters of Christ. Not to lord over others. Jesus said, I did not come to do my will, but the will of the one who sent me. I did not come to be served, but to serve. Right? And to give up my life as a ransom for many. And we're called to do the exact same thing. So, Our Lady of Fatima intercede for us. And again, it's all about penance. It's all about reparation for our sins and all sins committed against Jesus. Amen? We're all called to do reparation for all the sins of the world. Let us now ask our Father.